Hey Taurus, this is your reading for October. And I laid out some different cards for this month. So what it looks like to me here, for some of you, you could be really worried about money and you have made a decision to save money. I think you've put your foot down on yourself and say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going, you know, you have a plan and I see a plan here a couple of times planning for the future, planting your seeds for the future. There's something here you might have a new idea or something you're really excited about, looking forward to. And it may involve a partner, but it, it can't happen quite yet because that magician turned up reverse right there. So you know how I say every month lately, it seems like you get so many love cards. This looks like the same couple right here in the Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. Lots of togetherness. And right there in that Nine of Cups, it looks like the same people. And that extra person right there, it looks like there's an outsider, someone that knows you and your person, and they're cheering you on. They're really happy for you, it looks like. And since this hermit is here, some of you could be with a Virgo. Maybe, maybe not. But with these two cards right next to each other, the Six of Cups and the Hermit, when they come out like that, that's a lot of thinking and inner deep thoughts about love perhaps followed by the two of cups ten of cups so you're really in deep thought i think you're really really in your feelings like feeling the love this month in october and you know the end of october and some of november is your season for love actually during scorpio season that's your season for love situations to flourish or to find someone new or just for things to go really really good and in the other cards here, uh, someone's almost telling me that you'll either be really opinionated or voicing your opinion about something you feel strongly about. It could be about a person. It could be about someone who is a little bit troubled or had a troubled past or people look down on this person or think they're a, a scuzzball or, you know. But uh, it's either you're going to be talking a lot about this person or situation. It could be a situation like... Um, you're opinionated about someone quitting smoking or doing the right thing or, but yeah, there's a lot of clarity, opinions, voicing your opinion about something like that. And I can't even remember if I mentioned this already. Some of you could be worried about money and you're, you have a plan. I think you're going to be working a lot and you, you're setting some kind of plans in motion here, planting seeds for the future. You're thinking about your future a lot, your love life. But there's something here you can't, it's not a go yet with that Magician Reverse. We have the Strength card here. And up here in this Oracle card, you know, the Strength card is about courage. We have Inspiration and Courage. So have you recently been inspired by something you want to do and you need the courage to go ahead and start it? Believe in yourself. So love looks good. Looks like there's some worry about, about something, possibly money money or love or both uh, i might lay out some more cards here i always like to do a couple of videos put them together maybe i'll use a different deck here and do something different see what comes up next okay this is interesting we started out with the nine of wands this could simply be tiredness waiting on something feeling like you have to wait on something forever and ever or just growing weary or about to give up on something followed by the page of cups queen of cups for some of you your partner could be a lot younger than you and it was all cups through here the page of cups queen of cups ace of cups and then the four of cups he's looking up at not only the identical ace of cups there he's kind of looking up at that card it's like he's wondering or not sure about something there's a magician here's someone feeling trapped being stuck in a situation they can't get out of. And then here came the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Now what's this all about? So I laid out some more here. What's more about this Queen of Swords? Well, this Four of Swords could be either taking a break, just simply sleeping a lot, feeling very weary, tired. There's a tower moment. It's like after whatever this tower is, something happens and then see look someone's making you a generous offer he's giving you something the ace of wands was right after that this could be a new job opportunity it could be anything 
someone's offering you an opportunity, something that's that sparks your interest. I wonder what that Seven of Swords is. So, well, someone around here, around this Queen of Swords is is doing something behind her back or, or something like that. But anyway, it started out with a bunch of love cards. Cups again for you, like always, in these last few months. So some of you, your love life could be going pretty good. But Seven of Swords is there. Just be careful with it. could have something to do with something else in your life. You know, it may or may not be about love. But it looks like you're getting a generous offer this month, so... Overall, your reading for October looks pretty good, Taurus. That's about it for now, and I'll see you on one of my next readings.